question number three, and it says an object is moving according to the position function s of t is equal to 2t cubed minus 3t squared with s in feet and t in seconds. Find the average velocity of the object on the time interval from 1 to 3 and the instantaneous velocity at the, um, of the object as t equals 2. So first we're going to find the average velocity. And the average velocity is the same thing as the slope. And for that, <coughs> remember that formula is y2 minus y1 over uh, x2 minus x1 or f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. So that's all we're doing here. So s of 3 minus s of 1 all over 3 minus 1. So when I plug in 3 to my s function, I get 3 cubed, which is 27 times 2, so it's 3 times 27 minus 3 times 3 squared, which is 9, minus uh, 1 cubed is 2, or 1 cubed is 1 times 2 is 2, and then 1 squared is 1 times 3 is negative 3. Well, times negative 3. Anyways, so we get 2... 2 times 27 minus, this is 27, so that just gives us 27 minus a negative 1, so it's plus 1, all over 3 minus 1, which is 2. So that's 28 over 2, which is equal to 14. So we've got our first part is 14 feet per second. And so the second part asks us to find the instantaneous velocity. And now, knowing the, all the knowledge that you know, we know that instantaneous velocity is just going to be where we take the derivative and plug in the value. So we're going to take the derivative of this, and that's going to give us 6t squared minus 6t. And then we're wanting to know at t equals 2. So we've got 6 times 2 squared minus 6 times 2. 2 squared is 4. 6 times 4 is 24 minus 12, which is equal to 12. So the second part of this is our, our answer B portion is 12 feet per second. So when we look at our answers, that's going to be answer 